Hey piano people. One of the most common questions that I get is how do you play triplets against eighth notes on the piano? And so today in this video, I'm going to give you five steps to follow so that you can comfortably and confidently play triplets against eighth notes on the piano. So the first step is to know how to count them correctly. And I've gone over this in a couple of videos. So you might've heard me say this before, but the way that I teach my students to count triplets and the way that I count triplets is one law Lee two law Lee. And the reason is because when we use law Lee to count a triplet, it's a completely unique set of syllables that doesn't sound like anything else. Oftentimes I encounter people who count triplets as like triplet, triplet, which does accomplish splitting the beat into three equal parts, which is great. But when we're counting triplet, triplet, we don't know where we are in the measure. And one of the reasons that we count out loud and that it's so important to count out loud is to keep track of where we are in the measure, which helps us keep track of where we are in the phrase, which helps us keep track of where we are in the piece. So knowing what beat we're on is a essential. I also hear people counting triplets as like one and a, two and a, but that's really close to how we count eighth notes and that's really close to how we count sixteenth notes. And specifically when we're trying to play two against three, one and a does not allow us to count triplets and eighth notes at the same time. One la li, two la li, while it sounds a little bit silly, allows us the flexibility to count that triplet rhythm in combination with other rhythms, which you're gonna see in just a few minutes is really essential for playing triplets against eighth notes on the piano. Now I did a live stream a few weeks ago where I talked a ton about rhythm and I went over exactly how to practice counting, exactly how to get comfortable and confident counting. So if you feel like counting one lolly, two lolly is a pretty huge leap for you because you're not comfortable counting out loud, then I would suggest starting with that video and I'll link that in the description below. The second tip for playing triplets against eighth notes on the piano is to know how they line up. So you can see here that when we split a beat into three equal parts for the triplet and two equal parts, the first note is going to be played together. So what comes in on beat one is played together. Then we have our law and then the and and then the lee. And we can see really visually how these line up. And when I was first learning how to play triplets against eighth notes and when I teach my students, I will oftentimes actually draw these lines in my music so that I can see or in my students music so that they can see the notes on the beat come together and then the next note of the triplet and then the little and is squeezed in the middle and then the last note of the triplet. And simply seeing that visually can be really helpful in knowing how the notes line up. And if you're enjoying these videos, go ahead and share them on social media if you wouldn't mind so that other people can find them and so that they can be as effective and efficient with their piano practice as well. Now the third and fourth step in being able to play triplets against eighth notes are to be able to count eighth notes really confidently with the metronome and to be able to count triplets really confidently with the metronome. So we can turn our metronome on and we can just practice clapping eighth notes. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. We wanna make sure that we're actually counting out loud and that we're really steady and on with the metronome. Then we can do the same thing with the triplets. One lolly, two lolly, three lolly, four lolly, one lolly, two two lolly, three lolly, four lolly. We can do that at varying speeds until it feels really easy and until it feels like we are about 95% accurate with how we're clapping and counting each of those rhythms, 95% of the time. Then we can turn on the metronome and we can practice alternating back and forth between triplets and eighth notes. One and two lolly, three and four lolly, one and two lolly, three and four lolly, one and two lolly, three and four lolly. We can do that until that feels easy as well. The fifth step to being able to play eighth notes against triplets on the piano is to actually take the eighth notes against the triplets and practice tapping and counting out loud. So our counting is one la and li, two la and li. The right hand is doing the one la li in this case, in my example, and the left hand is doing the one and. So we can turn our metronome on and we can practice tapping and counting that. One la and li, two la and li, one la and li, two la and li, one la and li, two la and li. We can go as slow as we need to go with that. We can do it many, many, many times in a row until it feels easy. Know that when you first start, it's very natural to not get it, but we have to allow ourselves the space to keep trying and to continue to mess up so that we can eventually get to the point that we have success with it. So oftentimes when I see students trying to practice two against threes, they don't get it immediately and they give up. 
and they say, I can't do this, but it might take you five or 10 or even 20 minutes before you can do it one time correctly. And that's okay. You're going to mess it up. You're going to make mistakes, but you will get to the point that you can do it successfully. And then once you do it successfully, you can increase the number of times that you're doing it successfully. In this video, I've only shown you how to clap and count out loud this rhythm, but all of these steps that we just went through can be applied directly to a piece of music as well. So like I mentioned, draw drawing the lines in the music so that you can see where the notes line up, writing the counting into the music. And then once you're comfortable clapping and tapping and counting it out loud, actually practicing the eighth notes on the piano and counting them, actually practicing the triplets on the piano and counting them, and then putting them together and counting them while playing, that would be the next steps. So once you follow the steps in this video and you're really comfortable and confident tapping and counting out loud, then you can apply notes to it. And do start with the tapping and the counting out loud because if you skip that step and you try to do notes and rhythm and technical coordination all at the same time, that's often just too much for our brains to handle. And that's where I see people hit really big roadblocks where they give up or they think it's not possible. So make sure to start with tapping and counting, then add the notes to it later. Now let me know in the comments what piece you're working on that has two against threes in it. There's some really common examples that I actually go over in another video that I have that's all about polyrhythms. I'll link that in the description below. Off the top of my head, I made this video a long time ago, but I know I go over the WC arabesque that has two against threes, and I'm not sure what the other piece is, but I use a couple of examples. So you can consult that video if you're looking for specific examples on the piano. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you can help our content rise to the top. This will help other people benefit from it as well. And if you're ready to take your piano playing to the next level, join me in the Casual to Confident Piano Player program where we meet face to face several times per month to address your specific challenges in your specific piano playing. I'll see you there.